the darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Yep. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hanson. Oh. Past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. Except it's not because they're telling the story later. So they're alive. Just saying. It's hard to create that tension when you're telling the story this way. Jesus. This guy got fucked. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. <laughs> that suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? Money. I can't figure it out. This Revenge. Endless march down memory lane. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? <laughs> yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both. Don't do anything stupid. I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Serpentine! Serpentine! That sounds stupid. <laughs> it's not stupid, it's, it's genius. Going on three. One. Two. Uh, three. Three. Go. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. So he didn't shoot us. Oh God. Oh God. That's good. He did say serpentine. He's gonna hit him in the head. Oh, yeah, we're getting taped up again. Son of a bitch. What's that? <laughs> this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. We should have stayed put. You just Son of a bitch. Away, she was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. I feel like they gave a bigger recap for this episode than they did for like the last two episodes when they had a much bigger time lapse time lapse between them. More time to forget shit. It was a pretty good recap though. Vaughn! Shut up. Hey! 
Jesus. Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. They need Gordish on their side. Is that Vaughn? No, that's not Vaughn. Not even a little Sorry, bit. Boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. Or death. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. Still have to get up there. You're... You're welcome. Can <laughs> I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> It's a rocket launcher. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? You're feeling I guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Like what? Now listen up. I never played the pre sequel, so I don't know. Your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But you need us. But these are not normal circumstances. She needs us. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. My back what is so say? itchy. And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? I fucked up. Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't Yep. Get I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt. I can't. I can't let her do stab her. Can't keep letting her get stabbed. Yes, whatever you want, please just, just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah. How heavy could that rocket launcher actually be? Come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's oh, get cracking. Back to working with Brad Pitt from Fight Club again. His name was Tyler Durden. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, I know what we gotta do. I got this. We'll, okay, we'll find okay, a rocket come on. Booster. Oh, I'm I know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. <laughs> We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. 
If you stop being so negative, why would you just state the obvious? Later, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you well, got the magic, kid. The they should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill you're down on every aspect I hope of the you, mission. You help me, but you're now, constant shit talking. I'm not the one forcing us to go on a suicide mission. Oh, easy, easy. You just so sadly mistaken. Great. It's helping me pass the time inside your stupid little tiny wallet head. The reality is that Wait, we don't like have a choice. Wallet head. I like that. Wallet head, head, wallet head. You don't think That's I know that? Stuff. Then maybe try coming so up with listen, a few solutions. I hate to be the bearer okay, of good news one. here, we but if there's go. one thing that you know about me, know it's that, that I'm a collector of my Fine. rival's What's top secret projects. <laughs> That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos too. That's the best deck oh, in town Jesus. right there. Especially their freaking gun. I can't trust him. Oh man. Can't trust him. I got this one with a fist attachment, so you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Everyone just please shut up for a second. Again, because here, here's, here's the deal. I... The beacon is in handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. One second. My apologies. Uh, campaigning. It's voting season, I guess, is the best way to describe it here in Canada. So, been getting a lot of door-to-doors in the building, dropping off flyers and trying to collect votes. Luckily for me, this is a short conversation because it's what I'm already voting. So, not going to get into that, though. Let's get back into the game. Yes. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus How your just buzzing the robot? Beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. <laughs> Rattle sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you got to kill to get an office like that? Bill. The Handsome Jack Tour. <laughs> I think you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. What happened hey, to the more info? Sign me up. I wanted the info. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork, that's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh, it's killer. Behold! Trump's not winning the Canadian election, unholy. Okay. <laughs> Now, how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, Canada. so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Catch a ride! <laughs> well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. Yeah. And then it's <laughs> off to Helios. What if you fuck that up? Does he not help you? Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell a bet we've arrived. She'll help us. Will she? Hey, why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. <laughs> I'll tell the guards. So this is all in her. his head. <laughs> oh over. my god. <laughs> then I'll disable the security system. Uh huh. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's None of this is going to go according to plan. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. Oh my god. From there, we'll get into Jack's office. We're all... <laughs> Hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. 
Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Oh my god. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. So that's where he gets the new suit. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. Oh. <laughs> Didn't think it worked that way. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jackson? There comes the questions we were waiting for. Don't How's it going, Hector? Them, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Can't tell them the well, truth. It took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. They know I'm lying. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. They know I'm lying! I'm a terrible liar! Reese, I should've told them. There's something you need to get off your chest. We're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. I'm not. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Okay, I admit it. Pandora got to me. So we don't this even... Last week has been no more truth-telling. <laughs> We're a liar now. Oh, there's nothing compared to what a mission to Helios will be like. At least on Helios, I know what to expect. This place is a nightmare. Being around you is a nightmare. Burn! All like right. me, Valerie burn! Signed up on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. Catch a red! <laughs> Ugh, that's all I can hear in my head anytime I play Borderlands or see the even this logo. Watch Gordis. I'll miss you! <laughs> Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! <laughs> it's overly innocent that it's hilarious. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. Now nah, we're cool. We cool. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? It's my two favorite gals. Hey! Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just... Gotta be honest. Nice, is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Oh, hey. So, uh, mm. we lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally by accident. We just really needed repairs. Like, life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh, no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I knew you wasn't racers. But you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple well, At least he's not angry. He's not going to bury us alive. One of them, and I will not say who that is, no matter what. <laughs> Fiona, shoot! <laughs> what can I do you for? Ah, oh, Scooter. You're a good guy. A little I'm weird. I'm not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. We're going to fly up to Helios and leave a big flaming pile of skag crap right on their doorstep. Oh, heck yeah. What do you want to get the crap? You want to, like, just find some? Oh, Jesus. Do you want to, like, make some? Or do you want to get it off the black market? I so literal. Trust me on We're not actually 
gonna do that. It's a metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> that word. That all sounds great. Only that word. Oh, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios. Valerie. Uh oh. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, the comedy's wait, on point. I said that there was only one problem. I meant that there were two. Oh God. Because look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe, but she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Why? Oh, no. Oh, God. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't much of a mood to do rocket stuff. So we have to cheer her up? She talked to her fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Janie's got a gun. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. Athena's not the type to leave just for some random delivery job. She lied, and you covered her ass. Is this what you meant by Australian I, bacon? I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she she maybe did. The echo of the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard. No, really. She maybe did. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... Started. What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. She, An she owed a debt. friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? He's dead. Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Janie Springs. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them. What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just sit. want to know one last thing. Uh oh. And then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me? Uh oh. Before they took her. The way she acted. Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke. Uh oh. Or something. I can't lie to that. I don't know. I don't remember. Sorry. She didn't really get a chance to say anything. It just happened so fast. I'm sorry. I can't say that she loved her because I don't know. That's. Yeah. I don't she... remember if she said that. Hey. <laughs> she might have. Hey, Athena's gonna be all right, Janie. And there's no use worrying about her. Trust me. What you need is something to take your mind off this whole thing for a little while. Like a rocket. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. As long as you don't write us a love poem. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that. Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You made it? Whoa, space buddies! <laughs> space buddies! Catch a ride! 